Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the shop. You know I've always said when you learn something new, if you can't teach someone else, well then basically you didn't learn much. So ask a bunch of questions. Just let it sink in and ask as many questions as you need to ask to have it sink in to help you learn the way you learn. I know I was that guy that wonder I didn't throw my shoulder out in high school. I raised my hand so much. And you know what, after class there was always somebody that came up to me and said, man, I'm so glad you asked that question because they didn't want to feel stupid, look stupid, embarrassed, whatever. You know what? Who cares? Figure it out. Learn how you want to. Exactly the point that I want to make today. That three-pin fixture, you can get very lazy with high-end CAD systems at your disposal. When it comes time to figure something out, you just go, bam, and there's your answer. But when it comes time for nuts and bolts sitting at your workbench in your shop with a calculator and a trig book or a trig app or whatever, it's a different story. I'm going to show you the easiest way to figure out those three pin locations. I'm going to give you the nuts and bolts with it and you can do whatever you care to do with the mechanics. That's the whole idea. So here we go. Three pins. One locating on the top, two locating on the side. How do you find them? Where do you start? Well, first and foremost, position your part, find your location where you need to be, and off of this surface right here for the first point of tangency, the center will be the radius of the pin, up and over. So this is your home spot right there. Okay? This is the dimension given on the print. When you move over, just move up the radius of the pin that you're going to use, whatever it happens to be. Coming back to home now, what do we know about this part? We know the angle on the part and we know the diameter of the pins that we're going to use in the fixture. That will drive the location of the first pinhole, the angle of the part and the radius of the pin that you're going to use. And that, that triangle is right here. Only one place in the universe will the projected drop from that point intersect the center of a specific size pin sit right on there. One spot. That little R right there, that's the radius of the pin. Let's say this is a 250 pin, that would be 125. 125 away, it's only one place those lines are going to cross. Rule of construction, tangent is always perpendicular to the plane that it intersects. From the center line to the plane will always be a right angle. Triangle number one, right here. Radius, angle of the cut on the end of the part. This particular star dimension right here. That is the Y movement drop to drill your first hole. Puts it right there, tangent, done, all day long. Second one is up to you. Second one is either the dimension from the print, how far between the pins, or some random dimension that you come up with. Say you want 500 between the two pins, that's fine. You are already starting at the radius value offset, so that no longer becomes a factor unless you change the diameter of the pin, then it does become a factor. All right. You pick the dimension you want between those two pins based on the length of the part. Whatever. Same exact setup, only the radius doesn't come into play. And here is the triangle for number two. Number two, the dimension between the pins becomes the hypotenuse. The angle is there. And as with any triangle, if you have two members of the family, if you have an angle and a side, you can figure out everything else. It's all geometry, it's all trig. So here you go. Dimension, angle, dimension, angle will allow you to solve the triangle. The drop, the base of the triangle will be the Y move. The rise will be the X. Over, boom, hole, offset's already there. The mechanics are very simple. When in doubt, draw it out. It's easy to draw something that looks like it's going to work. If you think you're just going to come up with a random number here and pop it in and think it's going to sit where you think it's going to end up, you would be wrong. The pin will probably sit somewhere, but it's not going to be where you think it's going to sit. I'm in a really good mood today. I don't know why. It's Friday, I guess. And Sunday's my birthday, which is another good thing. One year older, right? All right. As far as the nuts and bolts are concerned, that's it. I hope you can see the triangle stacking up. Freeze frame this, do what you got to do, print it out. Angle on the top, workable angle, gives you everything that you need. Simple. Enjoy your weekend. Joe Pye at Advanced Innovations, Austin, Texas. I'm out.